Okay, see Linda Law videos, implicit differentiation, including the chain rule and product rule in the same problem. Man, what a pain. Um, let's just go through this, and then a couple times I'm going to stop and tell you what I think you're going to see on the AP exam and what you're not going to see. So I'm going to start off by this. First thing I'm going to do is what I've noticed a lot is on the AP exam, they'll call this dy, dx, y prime. It's not wrong, it's not right, but it's something to think about. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off the problem this way. The equation that they give us is the square root of x squared is equal to x squared y plus 1. So what I'm going to do, if, if, this was a, uh, if this was a free response question, I would start to, to draw this out, tell them what I'm going to do. And I would expand, expand this and say I, I intend to take d dx of square root of xy, set that equal to d dx, is equal to d dx of x squared y plus d dx of 1. Then I'm going to start taking this the best I can. For example, I know that d dx, the first derivative of 1, 1 is a horizontal line, so the, the first derivative of that is equal to 0. So I might put plus 0 there. I might not. From here, I'm going to look at this, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at this piece right here, and I'm going to say, you know what? This piece right here, this square root, is much easier understood by me called 1 half power. This, to me, is a perfect example of chain rule. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to differentiate this using the chain rule. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this piece right here. I'm going to say, here's my outside function. I'm assuming that you know how to use the chain rule. So this is my u to the 1 half power. So I'm just going to differentiate f of u and say that I'm going to get um, 1 half u, but u happens to be xy, doesn't it, to the negative 1 half power. Chain rule says that after I do that, I have to take the derivative of the inside. So now I have to take, I have to differentiate this. I have to take the different, the differ, uh, the der excuse me, the derivative of x y. That's a product rule problem, isn't it? So product rule is f of x times g prime at x plus g of x f prime at x, right? So f of x is just x. The first derivative of y is y prime. So this is just product rule, right? This is just product rule plus the second function is y, y times the derivative of the first function, where the first function is, is x, the first derivative of x is 1, so times 1, so y times 1 is just y, isn't it, is equal to, and then I'm going to do the same thing here, product rule. In a product rule here, let this be f of x and this be g of x, so it's the, it's the first function, x squared, times the derivative of the second, the derivative of y is y prime, or the derivative of y, plus y times the derivative of this first function, which is the first derivative of x squared is 2x, isn't it? 2x. And I'm just going to keep walking my way through this. And let me see how I'm doing so far. I think I'm in the ballpark so far, right? I guess I'll clean this up the best that I can. I'm going to call this uh, 1 over 2 square roots of x, y, because this negative 1 half is a, right? I'm not going to do anything with this except for mention the fact that I intend to do something with it. So y prime plus y is equal to, and this is x squared y prime plus 2xy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So I'm going to distribute on the left-hand side, just doing algebra here. And that gives me x over 2 square roots of x, y. I know, you see this y prime. I'm just going to pull it out like this a little bit just so... It, now, you don't have to. You can put it up in here. I'm just pulling it out here because this is what I'm interested in, right? My goal here is to find dy, dx, and dy, dx is y prime. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm going to multiply this times this, which gives me y over 2 square roots of x, y, doesn't it? And then this is x squared y prime plus 2xy. Now, I'm going to separate these things. So this is what I'm noticing now. Now what I'm seeing in my head, as I continue to process this out, I'm like, okay, I have a y prime here and a y prime here. So why don't I move all of the y prime stuff to the left-hand side? It could be either side. So I'm going to leave this. So I'm going to have x over 2 square roots of xy. Put that y prime there. Then I'm going to subtract this from both sides, and I'm going to get negative x squared y prime, right, is equal to this 2xy was already there, 2xy. I'm going to subtract this one from both sides, so that gives me negative y over 2 square roots xy. Wow, right? It's just a lot of stuff, so you just got to keep kind of pressing through it. 
So that's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm just pressing through this with all the algebra. This is what I'm seeing now, and I'm getting kind of happy now because I'm like, you know what, my goal, right, my goal was to get y prime by itself. So I'm like, here's a y prime in this add end, and here's a y prime in this term right here. So I'm going to factor that out. So I'm going to factor out here. So I'm going to get y prime times x over 2 square roots xy minus x squared is equal to 2xy minus y over 2 square roots of xy. And you might be going, what the hell's going on here? But we're almost done, actually. Remember, our goal is to get this piece by itself. We're trying to get this piece by itself here. So all I'm going to do is divide both sides by this. So I'm going to get y prime is equal to 2xy minus y over 2 square roots of xy, right, all over this piece right here, which is x over 2 square roots of xy minus x squared. Now, I promised you that I would give you some information here, and this is what I'm going to tell you. If, you. if you were doing this on free response, you probably would have gone far enough. Secondly, if you were doing this piece of work on the multiple choice part, if they're asking you for the derivative at a point, you have it. So here you would just fill in the blanks. Let's pretend for a second that they gave you some point like 2, 4. I'm not even sure that point exists here. All you do is every place you found an x, you put a 2. Every place you found a y, you'd put a 4, and you would get a number back here. So let me help you to not go too far. You can clean this up. This is complex uh, this is complex fractions theorem, and this can be cleaned up really nicely. If you're interested in me cleaning it up, let me know, and, and I'll gladly show you my work. Um, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do my work now. But if, if you get this much of it, you can stop here. If you just want to see this stupid algebra, then here it is. I'm going to say that y prime is equal to 2xy times 2, right, 2 square roots of xy minus y over 2 square roots xy. Hopefully you can see what I did here. I just multiplied this piece right here by that. Then the bottom one, I think I'm going to get, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get x minus x squared times 2 square roots xy, right? all over 2 square roots of xy, right? From here, this is complex, fra uh, complex fractions here. I'm just going to bring this up as it's reciprocal. This and this will cancel. And I will end up, I believe, my friends, I will end up with, I will end up with y prime. Look, 2 times 2 is 4, so I'll get 4xy square root xy minus y, just this top piece here, over this bottom piece, which is x minus, where the hell is this? Oh, 2 times this is 2x squared square root xy. Look, man, unless there's some really good reason to do this advanced algebra, I'd leave it. Unless this is a multiple choice question, they ask you, what is the derivative? In which case, you have to grind through all this crap. But if it's derivative at a point, just get to some place where you have this thing separated and plug in those values, right? Or if you're on the free response, you can leave it like that. It's done, all right? Look, you guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, please make them. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. Oh, and do me a favor. Go and watch my video on uh, implicit differentiation with TI Inspire CAS Calculator. It will really help you on the exam, all right?